All right, this is my IT security systems um, presentation to talk about securing the company. All right, next slide. This is my introduction. Basically, there's been recent news on data breaches and cybersecurity attacks. So what we need now is we need to strengthen our company's security. We can do this by um, we can do this by using the Computer Misuse Act and Data Protection Act, using access controls, and using endpoint security. Right now, my main focus will be on endpoint security, So, but let's quickly run through the other three points that we can use. All right, so we have the Computer Misuse Act and Data Protection Act. Basically, we have enhanced punishment for offenses involving protected computers. Basically, we want to dish out punishment um, based on if you um, do something to protect the computers we want to we want to dish out hard cold punishments to deter people from um, doing these offenses okay the next one is supplying uh, personal information obtained in contravention of certain provisions basically you get personal information that you're not supposed to get from protecting computers and basically we just want to do the same thing we enhance punishment on people who do this type of things and we have the data protection act on general penalties it's just to it's just any act involving protected computers that we just dish out general penalties some like small fines of a thousand dollars per offense that you make and also we have unauthorized modification of computer material basically it's illegal to modify computer material that you do not own and also unauthorized, unauthorized access to computer material which ties into both basically if it's not your computer you shouldn't have access to it and if you're accessing it if you're accessing it you're breaking a law and when you're modifying it you're also accessing it so you're breaking two laws and thus enhanced punishment there's more fines on that person all right access controls physical access it's easy just keep most doors closed you don't have to lock them because we want to support open door policy all right and you want to keep areas such as the entrance or like security room or data control rooms you want to protect them by using key card doors basically these doors uh can only be opened if you have a security card to scan on a security key card scanner and that lets you get in basically to prevent any old layman from just walking right in to security high security areas like uh, data server rooms you we also should add CCTV cameras all over the office to record suspicious activities so we can catch people in the act and we can also use this to deter people from performing these kind of activities because they see those CCTVs up there they don't want to do anything then we have logical access it's easy we just have key cards for everyone uh with to, to identify them basically it's so that we can see uh what kind of ranking they have in the company and also people with high enough ranking can use these key cards to enter these secure areas so that yes so that we can prevent any data leakage from happening Right, this is the physical floor plan. It's easy. The entrance is key card doors. We have the entrance here. You can walk in, customer service, and then this open doors. I mean, closed, but it's open door policy. You just open up. You can have a HR meeting room, uh, facility security. Just ask someone to open up for you if you want to eat something. The pantry, uh, management room, yes, toilets. Don't have CCTVs in there. That's a bit awkward. Uh, but you see, you have CCTVs in each room here, here, here. The IT room. Uh, there's a key card door because you don't want any old person walking to the server room. So uh, as you can see here, uh, server room. We have four servers, and we have two backup servers. The backup servers are used if the server room, uh, the servers, the original ones, they go down, and the backup servers are used as a support for them so that our whole website doesn't go down when that happens all right and we move on to endpoint security basically we have five uh, problems here that we have to 
make from a fail to a pass. I will show you a brief uh, demonstration later uh, on in this uh, presentation. Basically, uh, these uh, 18.9 point sixteen point three to eighteen point nine point twenty six point one point two I'll show you later uh right now I'm gonna do a live demonstration let me pause and then change the scene up so we can see a live presentation uh demonstration on uh uh fake computer software so you can see what I'm trying to uh, convey to you clearly all right we're back here and I'm using I'm currently using Oracle VM virtual box managers on uh, project baseline and uh, right now you want to have uh, I mean not you want to have right now I have a CIS cat installed it's a assessment tool to check if you have any problems on your computer and it basically assesses these problems and shows you how to prevent these problems basically what you want to do I'm teaching here basically you want to set it to this benchmark because this is the benchmark that most companies use to prevent data leakage or like anything else profiles level one basically it's good to have everyone learn how to do this so that we can prevent uh data leakage or any other kind of leakage from happening on in our company everyone should learn how to do this in the company so that they can all do this on their personal computers or their company computers and uh basically what what's happening now is we're uh generating a report the cis cat configuration assessment tool is going through all the problems and checking is it a pass or is it a fail if it's a fail i'm going to show you how to do it how to make a pass later on the previously mentioned uh, five errors those are gonna show up as fails when this recording ends I mean the not recording ends when this report when a report is generated at the end basically it's just um, five failures that I'm gonna show you how to solve how to make them in the passes all right let me just I'll get back to you when the report generates then we'll head right in all right the uh, reports have been generated now when you view reports it will open it up on Internet Explorer or Google Chrome it, hap it um, depends on the choice that you have made and then right now you I'm gonna search using control F to search this one that I mean sorry it's this one no wait hang on a second my bad I have no idea what's happening it's 18.9.16.3 right now we're down here as you can see these five uh, links right here they're all fail so how do you make the fails passes well it's easy you just go down to your start bar and you type in GP edit that opens your group policy editor in the control panel basically to find these five things right here what you want to do is you want to go to at um, computer configuration under administrative templates you want to go down to windows uh, components I'm gonna open this up a little bit data collection preview builds right here it says ensure do not show feedback notifications is set to enabled so right here you just want to set this to enabled toggle user control over inside the bills is set to disabled so just set it to disabled delivery optimization which is right down here you want to set download mode so it's enabled but not set to internet so I'm going to set it to LAN then we have uh, scrolling down a little bit to event log service under application we have a uh, control event log behavior you want to set it to disabled so just disable that bad boy right there and then you want to go to this one and you enable it and you set log size anything greater than uh, 32,000 so for example you can just use 45,000 and you just set it right there and then when you close this and you close this and you rerun the assessment one sec you just have to repeat everything that you have repeated before the previous time and uh, you just generate everything generate the report I'll get right back to you when the report generates and I'll show you that everything has become failed to a pass all right I've searched 18.9.16.3 again as you can see all five are now passes 
basically now that everything's done this is all i have to say for this presentation thank you very much and i hope you consider my presentation thank you